So my name is, as you know, Avi Srivastava, and I am based out in Bangalore. And I have overall experience of around uh, 15 years, I can say. Initially, I worked for 10 years in, in a CRO called Seniors Health. And then I worked in a two-year for uh, IQVIA. And later on, recently, I am working for AstraZeneca. So that's all about me that why we should learn SAS and clinical SAS. Okay, this will like, this is not a motivation, but this is an actual fact that this industry have. So it will help you to like focus on these things and you will be more motivated to learn all these concepts, whatever I will be covering in a further classes. So these are the 10 reasons why someone should learn SAS and clinical SAS. First point, as you guys have said me, SAS is in a highly demandable field and it's a well payable. If you know SAS programming, not just SAS, you have to know like what is a clinical SAS. So those all things, if you're aware of, you will be in a demand. And if you have a experience, then you will see that there are opportunities all the time. Anytime if you go to Nokri or LinkedIn, you will see there is a requirement for a clinical SAS programming. As a freshers, opportunities are a little less, but if you are keeping yourself updated through a right channel, you will get to know that a lot of company even hire freshers as well. And if something is like in demand, so definitely they will pay you well as well. No recession and layoff. Recessions and layoff will not hear in this field. In a pharmaceutical field, even till now, whatever experience I have, I have never seen any kind of layoff, especially in our field, where we do a kind of a programming work. You, I have heard like somewhere in the pharmacovigilance or other department, they are having some kind of recession. But in a statistical programming team, you will never see that there are recession going on. But there is no layoff there in that. So it's... In terms of safety, it's quite good. This opportunity is there in India as well as in US, UK. Everywhere you will see that there are opportunities for a SaaS programmer. One of the nicest perk is that you will get work from home. If your employer is having a policy of fully working on remote, so you can get this like fully complete remote. Or some companies are currently working on a hybrid mode where they are calling the employee to office for a few days and few days they can work from home and few companies completely they offer a remote job that's not the case if you go into the other field like they are calling the employee like all the days or at least like two like three or four days in a week so in that you compare with that our industry is quite good and SAS is one of the easiest programming language it's not that complicated to learn SAS programming. That's the reason, like a lot of guys who have a pharma background, even though they have not, they don't have any programming background in their curriculum, in their syllabus, they still go for a SAS programming because SAS is easy to learn. Even though you don't have a background of programming, easily you can learn. I have a programming background. I have done a computer science engineering. So I was having a lot of programming languages. And when I compare, let's say Java is there or C is there, C++ is there. Compared to all those languages, SAS is quite easy. Way more easy than all other existing languages. Easier as well as quite demandable as well. Yeah, anyone can learn and switch into a... And when you work in this field, you will be working towards the drug discovery processes. I mean to say, when the trial is going on, you will be getting a data for that, right? So that data, you will work on, you will do the analysis, you will do the programming on that data. So it's a kind of a noble cause as well that you are supporting a drug approval process where this drug, if it gets approved, it will save a lot of human. It's a kind of, you are making a financial growth, professional growth, as well as it's a noble cause as well, because you are helping a drug to come into a market. 
and the work is quite interesting it's not a boring job till now i have worked on like for almost 15 years and i till now i don't feel like okay i should leave this industry but the work is interesting you won't feel like okay this is a, something i'm doing just for the money sake it's not like that you feel that it's actually interesting if you take interest it will be very easy for you to learn and also you'll feel quite enthusiastic as well to work in the industry that's all that's that's all the reason i have three four five six seven how many reasons i have three four five six seven reason i have for why somebody should learn SAS and clinical SAS. and many of you are aware of all this i don't have to say but yeah again i have to repeat these things so that when you feel demotivated you feel distracted you can remember all these points that's the whole purpose of covering these all these points these all sessions are uh, getting recorded so you don't have to worry about anything if in case i want you to attend live and if in case someday you miss then you will have a recorded session after one hour of the session uh, you will have this uh, live sessions recorded on the website itself and yeah for a reason as well you have to go through this maybe this is something concept whatever you learn you are going it for the first time right so you may have to revise it again you may have to go through the sessions once again so in that case for revision it will be very useful for you okay so nothing to worry about the recorded session is there and you will have a lifetime access for all these sessions for sas and for clinical sas things to remember think that you are working in a real-time environment whatever assignment i'll give you think that that is my assignment has been given by your boss or by your team lead I want you to think like you're working in a real-time environment, not in a training institute. If you have this mindset, you will learn things quickly and you will also be aware of how things work out in a organization. Be attentive and focus in a class. Don't feel distracted. Just hear me very carefully and be focused. It will help you to understand the concepts. And any complicated concepts are there. SAS is easy, but when it comes to clinical SAS, uh, some there will be little bit of concept which can be complicated. So all those things I'll make it very simplified for you with a real time example. And the same slide I'll cover once again when we start uh, STTM, which is a clinical SAS. Utilize these training periods for learning. About the note, make the handwritten notes after the class. Don't make any note during the class. When you're going through a recorded sessions on the website or on the app, that time you can create a note. Because I want you to just focus on hearing me as of now, not to make any note. And note is very important. Make this note immediately after the class. I mean, whenever you have a time to make a class before we start the second class. Because note will be something, if interview is coming up, you will not revise all the video sessions. It will take a lot of time. But you, if you have a notes, you can quickly revise the notes. And don't make a notes on a, on a laptop. Make a handwritten notes in a notebook. But that is easier to access. If you go on to the Word document and after some time you realize you are going somewhere else. So it's easy to focus on the handwritten notes. Don't get distracted. As I said you, this is a time for you to learn. You will feel like you are struggling in the sense that you will learn things. But yeah, this is a struggle period. Till that time you are not getting a job in this industry. So go through the struggle to achieve something better. Everyone has to struggle once uh, once in their lifetime for everything, right? So you have to go through the struggle. If you don't go, go through the struggle, you will not achieve anything. So struggle is very important. Yeah, when I say something better, it's the same thing what I covered initially. Also focus on your communication and presentation skills. If you know certain things, and if you are not able to communicate to an interviewer, what they will think is you are not knowing things. So focus on your communication skill as well. 
should not be like full fluent but at least whatever you think whatever you have understood you should be able to articulate and communicate it so at least know that much you don't have to use any fancy word or something just basic english and able to communicate whatever you know you should be able to communicate many times i have seen few of the candidates they will be aware of the concept but unable to explain it and if you are able to communicate well then it shows that you know things and you are confident as well but yeah first thing is your learning and then comes the later part which is how you communicate if somebody asks you what is this then how you are explaining them that's the second part both are equally important it's not only technical or not only communication both goes hand to hand yeah. success favors the prepared mind and make notes and work on the assignment if you take care of these two part you will not struggle and you will achieve whatever you are trying to that's all i have so with that we can embark on the journey of learning saas programming all good am i making sense yeah yes yes we'll start with base and advanced saas which is a programming language and these are the topics which we'll cover we'll cover everything what is required for you to work as a statistical programmer when you work on a stdm data sets atom data sets or on a tlf we'll cover all the programming language i mean all the concepts programming concept not the series concept we'll cover series concept when we start the clinical saas training in a series training or in a clinical saas training we have a stdm adam and tlf and we will be having mock interview as well saas is something a programming language clinical saas is saas is a general like general programming language that can be implemented in a financial domain as well in an insurance domain as well however we are implementing it in a pharmaceutical industry so once we learn the programming we'll implement that in a real time world or with on a real time data that how we can utilize the programming language which we have learned within the concept of a c disk which is stdm adam and tlf we are also going to discuss about how we can create or qc the listings using r programming we'll work on two or three listings using r programming and why we are covering r programming because that is something which will make you stand out from the others if the interviewer is looking into a resume and they have to select the candidate they will give you more preference compared to who only know the saas who so will cover our programming as well to make you stand out from the crowd and after we complete all this mock interviews are complete then we'll go for a cv preparation how to prepare resume what project to put all those thing will cover everything i'll cover okay and how you can market your resume discuss on it everything i'm covering from scratch only thing is i want from you is your attention and your effort that's it